Okay then, uh, let's see how uh, this part of the story will end with Reen and such. But first, let's make sure if any fights do happen, we have all we need for it. Now, what are the random people doing around here? Delivering vegetables, huh? They actually modeled these. I'm impressed. That's new, I think. I don't think they've done that before. Can't recall it, at least. Okay. Yep. Who knows? Well, it's probably something big, considering what happened, happened with Rufus. But also, is nobody going to mention what happened with Rufus? Here, at all. Also, when are we getting the fucking opening to this game? I really am baffled that we haven't yet. It is Kurt's storyline, this part. Okay, good. What are you saying, you know? Cool. Pretty simple, generic dialogue. Why are you out here, purple? Thank you for speaking for me, Reen. Who are you waiting for? Maple? Here? What, but why was she angry at you for just being proposed to in the first place? You hadn't said you would accept or anything. Furthermore, I didn't realize they were actually related. I thought they were just m maids working together. Okay, well, she'll go tomorrow. Can we leave? We cannot. Okay, well, what's happening over here, then? That's <laughs> just talking to the dog, I see. Okay. I don't think inseparable is the right word for two people. Actually, a dog and a person that just met. I don't know if that works, but... I get the idea, at least. Private home. How's this woman at this time? Is she being her usual terrible self? It, she is. She's actually doing it again. What is wrong with this woman? I fucking despise her. Doesn't have a single... Okay. You do realize there are two women here. In this town who are completely eligible. And if you're talking about Reen literally having his fucking students eligible, why is your son not eligible with them? Can you, like, give me an actual reason, madam? Is there anything going on in your head that involves sanity? God, I hate her. I genuinely fucking hate her. She's a terrible, terrible person. Anyway, Gizmo, how are you doing? Uh, yeah, this has probably been the most turbulent time you've known, apart from the Orbal Revolution. And no, it hasn't come to an end. Uh, because, well, we have eternal recurrence coming now. There was literally the Orbal Revolution, though, dude. This is quite the interesting fire effect. It doesn't look great, but it doesn't look awful, and that's all they need. Anyway. To the inn. How's the drunkard doing? Oh, it's full. Well, they're here. Of course it's full. How about you? Uh-huh. You were wrong about the person who wanted to be a fighter. Incredible. I would never have expected that he had potential based on how he was speaking or anything. How do you remember exactly how a single cry from two years ago sounded, though? I know it preceded a pretty notable event in the town's history, but it's still a bit weird. Okay. Uh, what about you, Gerald? Gerald, sorry. Okay. Okay. 
nothing new from him. What about you four? How's your dinner? She did a great job, okay. <laughs> There's all these questions of a mountain and her becoming the best shopper known to man. <laughs> Incredible work, Luna. Keep at it. Kalena. Cool. Nothing from her. Yes, it has. We, we, in fact, were part of the reason it's been dealt with. Well, Quinn, have a great time. You four deserve it. You, you're just a great quartet, frankly. Just a great one. I enjoy their presence at all times. Right. What's Maple up to? Is she in here? Who knows? Yeah, but you have nothing to do to control that, Bernard. You're literally just here in the really remote town that does nothing but exist. Cool. That's probably going to happen, you're right. What, what do you have here? Animal... Index. That's about it. Nothing else of note. Cool. Not Christ who's gonna die first. It feels like it sort of fits and sort of doesn't fit inside the church. Uh, yeah. Mateus did most of the hard stuff. But we, we helped. I wish I could say that at least. Cool. Uh, now, what are you up to, Maple? What are you praying for, though? She... <laughs> okay. Right. What, what is this relationship they have? Maple is not a great person. She's really a bit weird. Very reactionary. Well, next stop is going to be the goods and souvenirs shop. What about you guys? What are you up to? Is Muse in here? She is not. It's all Tina. Do you have anything new for me, though? That's what I'm looking for. What the fuck do you mean? Why is that what you expect? It's a school. It's a military school. Well, whatever. What are you What are you selling that's new? Nothing looks like. Um, how much money do we have is actually a question I need to check right now. 25k. With that confirmed, we absolutely need to buy some Terra Bombs. 10, happily. Um, reviving Bombs, 5, please. Uh, no, there we go. 5. Celestial Bombs, 2. I need these, absolutely. Without them, we're screwed. Uh, so that's fine. Sell fish. What do they sell for? Just these? I mean... What else am I going to use them for, I guess? But it's an unfortunate, mediocre result. Why didn't I sell them in previous games? There really was no reason not to. Um, there was one thing I wanted to check having done that, but I don't remember what it was. Great job, me. Also, we still don't know what these fucking purple shards in the corner here are. I know technically I'm very early in the game, but I have been playing for like 18 hours. Uh, what is my actual playtime? It's, it's 15 and a half hours. Yeah. Um, oh, they're still dead. Well, they're back alive, but they're still at 1 HP. That's very funny. Um, I don't know what I want to check. Oh, yes, my recipe book. I feel like at this point I might as well go for the best Let's possible do this. result. Just give one go. See what happens. Thanks for waiting. Really, Reen. 
Well, I guess I can buy the ingredients here. Yeah, you sure do. Now, uh, now it's time for Reen to take you under his wing, right? But that's not true. It's not up to him. He doesn't have someone to teach him swordsmanship. What are you talking about? Why don't you actually take him in? Oh, no, it's still the same. Uh, right, with you, we're gonna buy what we need as well, before I forget. Give me ten of the... well, eleven is fine. And what was the other one I needed? Assorted grains? Sure. Uh, wherever it is. Ooh, these are expensive. Fine, we'll go for ten, though. We're fine with money at the moment. Hopefully that lasts. But I can't say that for certain. Either way, Reen, Let's do please this. don't fuck it up this time. This should be your specialty. Thanks for waiting. Okay, uh, A little sugar muse? and spice. That's a different voice line. Is there cooking, nothing I can't sure. do? That echoed. That was very weird. Uh, I her. should be able oh, to cook okay, just so fine. There is only a selection of three. It's even normal. Great this is from one person or terrible. Terrible. Why is it Maybe. echoing? Is, is that just me? It sounds like it's echo. Oh, that would have been great. The tough onigiri. Well, it's fine now. Let's overwrite that. There's no need for anything else. Okay. Yep, pretty generic. Are you saying anything interesting, Leo? You do, I do remember this, actually. It, it has worked out somehow for you. You wouldn't have anything new, would you? Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Um... In which case, we do have some resources to spend. We can't upgrade any slots because we don't have enough space, Sepif, but... Do we have anything here we might want to buy? I mean, 600 is just too much at the moment. We've already spent so much of our resources. We'll just leave it for now. I don't want to do this. It's probably just a terrible idea. And yeah, can't slot anything, so we need to leave it as it is. Well, actually... We could make something like this, but I think I need everyone in my team right now to have something going for them. So I don't want to take off any action ones from anyone, so I just need to get more. So what, this is eight Chrono Drive R's I'd need, which... Sorry, that eight Chrono Drives I'd need. Which is affordable, relatively, but not in terms of view materials. Uh, so I'll leave that as it is. Uh, despite it being probably quite good. Getting something like that, but what can you do? That's again all I can say. What can you do? Uh, oh, God. This is going to be a terrible conversation. Uh, of course, it already started like this. 77 Devil's Tools, I see. Stop calling her that! God, Muse. I mean, it's consuming me because I actually care about those characters. Uh, you don't seem to, Muse. Terrible person. Really? Clearly? Uh, I don't have anything else to say but that. Definitely a reflection of a character. It's not like everyone is doing the same thing. Uh, who's in here? Oh, Mateus hasn't left yet. Right. Your pupils? Your pupils are here? Where? If you've checked the Isengard range... Isengrad? I don't remember which one it was. I'd look towards Crossbell. 
That's probably where you can get the most luck. Or Libel, one of the two. Cool. Well, that's everyone talked to. I mean, it does remain quite small. In which case, Kurt. There's I'm Kurt interested. on the lookout platform again. I think I'll see how he's doing before heading home. You already headed home, Reen. You know, you already did. No voice acting, okay. I mean, what is bothering him? Is it Cedric? Now he's missing? Yes, that's why. How did how did the rumors spread though? Where would this have come from? Nobody should have known by now. At least yes. He wanted the same thing Olivier wanted. I guess. But Olivier was given a bit more freedom at first. So, I can see where he's coming from. And there does need to be a successor, but it might be Alfin at this rate. <laughs> you know? I do think it's better if it's Olivier, but no idea what's going to happen. Hey, Kurt, if you come back later, I will be perfectly content. You're a character that would serve really well in a more grown-up state. We still have a few years to go, so you could be around 20 near the end of the series. And that works. You know, I'd really like to see him then. I don't know when I'll have the chance, but one day I will go and find him. I don't okay. know where we'll take it once I do, but if nothing else, I want him to know how I feel. Yeah, how, how did you just... How are you fine? He's definitely right, though. Reen is absolutely right. They would have been completely fine. Yep, that seems pretty in character for him, based on how we've seen him. He's been very, um, hot or cold, basically. Okay, well, now we can just look at the terrible skybox. What the fuck is happening to it? Why is it so pixelated? How did I not notice? Ah! What the fuck? Is this from CS2? That they... What is happening? Like, look at this. That is not good. Anyway, weird that Kurt has a second one. He only has three, but I guess his arc has just been early on more than anything else. Is why he already has a second one. Well, fair enough. That's about everything we'd expect from Kurt. And now we head back to the mansion. And, uh, I guess see what's happening tomorrow, Vareen. Wait, where are we going? Here? No, downstairs. Oh, Claire existed. I missed her. I should probably go check that, um... Rather than, uh, not talk to her the first time. How did I miss her like that? Just completely... Didn't notice her existence at all. Claire, what are you saying? It's a cutscene beforehand, I see. Well, it actually isn't doing anything. It's just a way of making me do something else first. Cool. Right, Claire, what are you saying? What are you going to talk to us about? Yeah, let's go. Everyone, if I could have your attention. Okay, now we're learning about Crossbell. I'm afraid I have terrible news. Crossbell's signing ceremony today was disrupted by a surprise attack. They are still happening in the same timeline. Nothing weird or 
strange has happened Crossbell in that regard. has been reoccupied. Huh? By who? What happened? I can't believe it. <laughs> what can't you believe? You say... Just that it's been occupied? And is that the general idea? Yeah, you need to go back to Crossbell. Rufus, it was Rufus. That he escaped from Oryx Fort. So what did Eusis feel about this? You haven't heard anything about them. You didn't hear how they lost? Interesting. Okay. The Supreme Leader, indeed he did. Well, most of Crossbell is sort of a supporter game. It's a bit weird. It's sort of Twilight 2, you know, you know. I will be the one to bear the responsibility for His Excellency's actions. It is the best way we can go about quelling the unrest in Erebonia and solving yeah, the issue of Crossbell all at once. From what he was saying last time. I can think of no better way for us Ironbloods to honor him. Okay, they're just content right weird, but I guess there's nothing to be done yet. Right. Well, what, what about the other countries? What, what about Le Burl? They're right there as well. Yeah, they're fine right now. The whole crew is there, apart from Ren. Where is Ren? She wasn't corrupted as well, was she? Oh yeah, Toa was there. We'll get her order, I guess. Marcus is going to be very useful with Accelerate. Uh, thank you for existing, Marcus. Just going to say that. I've largely ignored it, but um, Marcus is always coming clutch when he needs to, and he is definitely going to come in clutch in this uh, difficulty, unless I find some other way of getting past things. We sure have. Right, so do you new, have new information? Or is there something else? I am C. Leader oh my of the god. Imperial Liberation what Front. do you mean? What the fuck is happening? Huh? It can't be Crow again. We can't... We can't get Crow back. After everything. And then have him be a villain again. There's no way that's happening. With the iron blooded monster slain, the Empire had that's played Rufus's its key voice. to enter an era of peace. That's Rufus's voice, right? At least it sounds like it. It has a very similar intonation. Like very similar. Alas, it would seem his poisonous beliefs are now being carried on by zealots. Espousing nonsense of a united nation. Uh huh. To those who support their losing game, and to the ignorant politicians who allow these dogs to bark, I say this 
That is a bit different. It doesn't we sound like crow at all, though. For your but I don't remember how crow sounded as sea. Our first target was the foolish prince and his wings. Now bound to inaction. Ah, so they went Our after the next VA. target shall be the muck and mire that gathers We're going in the city. Okay, the muck and mire. We should contact Crow and make sure he's fine and not this person. Yeah, absolutely none. He's calling him? Oh, for fuck's sake. Please don't do it again. Not after all of this. I can't have Crow every single time end up a villain. Just let him be a hero for once, you know? Oh, he can't contact Elisa. Okay, maybe he's part of the third group, actually. There's definitely a third group. Like, everything is pointing to a third group, and it has been for a while in my eyes. Um, so we'll see what's happening in that regard. Jirai having an arc would be interesting. Yeah, I don't think it's Crow. They seem to be opposed, but probably working together in the long term. Is there a different C I can think of that could be in this position? I'm very bad at this. I failed last time completely. Uh, no, not really. Last part. Yeah, I mean, there's only one place that is called the Vermilion City in Erebonia. Uh, so it's pretty obvious where we're going, huh? It's a pretty good place to go anyway to get information and figure things out, considering it's the center of everything. Are we doing... Okay, for a second I thought we were doing Arben time again with the radio. What's he looking at? Yuna. Oh, about Crossbell, I see. How the fuck did he see Yuna at the I know, it's March, but it's still cold to be out at night, Yuna. How did he see her here? Especially in areas that still have snow on the ground. What are you doing here, Instructor? I could sense you out here from inside my room. You could sense her, of course you Given could. how late it is and how new you are to Ymir's weather, I couldn't help but worry. <laughs> you can't just whip out those super senses for any old thing. He can, though. Maybe. And he does. But every time they prove useful in a situation like this, I'm glad I spent time honing them. What are you sitting down for, anyway? Aren't you here to make me go inside? Well, no, he's here this to This isn't speak the academy door. There's no curfew here. All right. If you want to stay up a little late, I'm not going to stop you. Wow. That was a weird way <laughs> of putting things. You sure you things. should be saying stuff like that to your impressionable students? I mean, it's pretty normal. <laughs> You're going to be staying out late a lot and staying up late in general a lot in your life. <laughs> I don't think it hurts once in a while. So, you're not going to ask me anything? I'm not even sure where to start. I feel like you're the one who has to be willing to open up here. Open up? You think I'm just trying to act fine when I'm not. You're don't clearly you? not fine, you Not know. just think it. I know I'm correct. You are. You are, but... Honestly, the new tone for Reen is so much better. For moments like these, at least. In general, it's not better or worse, but for moments that actually focus on character interaction, far better. Still don't like Reen talking with his students very much at certain times. How many times has this happened now? So far, so good. Mostly, this game. Mostly. Not entirely. No, not at all. But mostly. Over and over, Rosbell finds itself in danger, and every time... I get all worked up and cause more problems for everyone. You haven't caused any problems for anyone at the moment, you know. I'm just tired of being such a burden. So what choice do I have but to bottle it all up and deal with it on my own? I get what you're trying to say, but you're missing the fact that everyone wants to help you when things go south. That goes for all your classmates. And me. 
If it was the other way around and one of your classmates needed help, wouldn't you want to give it to them? Well, yeah. Of course I would. But I think you're the last person I want to hear that from. Why? What? I get you're our instructor and all, and students aren't supposed to be the ones teaching oh the teacher. God. But when an adult chooses to do something alone, you need that's to respect That's not it. why I don't turn to you. Thing is, I have the same problem you do. And I need to work on it too. No, you really don't have. Reen, it's not a problem. Keep at it. I, I respect it. You ask for help constantly. Constantly. Sometimes you choose not to have help. And that's fine. That's good, even. But turning to your friends, That's healthy. or your students, for comfort and advice isn't a sign of weakness. You do this a lot. That's what they're there for. And that doesn't change, no matter how many times you have to do it. You help each other, so you can move forward together. Then, can I... Go on. Can I turn to you for comfort? No, 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 It's fine, at least, thank God. We fought so hard. And we thought this was finally it. I thought it would be a lot worse. And so far, so good, actually. So, why did they go and take it away from us again? Crossbell isn't allowed Crossbell to be free, man. Be free? They, what did we do to deserve it's, all this? It's pretty insane, actually. They're just never given a break. <laughs> just leave us alone! <laughs> <sighs> Maybe if you were there at the ceremony, you could have helped with the fight, you know? But do you, you feel a bit better now? You being Emir and doing a pointless test. And then fighting a divine, not divine knight, a magic knight once. That, that's about it. Yeah, but now the embarrassment of all that crying in front of you is really starting to set in. Would have been better if she cried to someone else, though, other than Reen. Can we stop fucking making Reen the center of everything? Characters need interaction with each other. It really helps build them. The fact is, Reen has been in the center of these things constantly, and it's actually what made a lot of CS3 quite, quite good. It let the students interact with each other often. Uh, like, uh, like Duna's last scene where she had a breakdown about a cross spell, where it was Kurt and uh, Ultina did a lot of it. Anyway, don't worry about me. I'm fine now, really. No matter how many times people take our home, We'll just take it right back from them. That's yeah, what I like to hear. Well, I guess it is getting late. Can I have I'm gonna head back to my coat room. back? I don't want to have so, to put um, on his old Thank you for lending me your coat. Thank you. I'll give it back give now. Me back. I don't want you being cold either. Thanks. Good night, Yuna. Yeah, I don't want to use a CS4 tie of his black hair. It doesn't look good. Well, I'd better get to bed, too. It's been a really, really long day. It has. You're not wrong. This has been a good ten hours, probably, of gameplay or something. Uh, Reen's Root. It's done! Oh, thank God. Nowhere near as explosive an ending, it does need to be said, as Lloyd's Root, but it is done. Now where do we go next? Lloyd again or the third route? Yep, third route. And it doesn't look like there's much to this route until we reach uh, these two again. But also, what is happening with this? Act 1, 3 of 15, prologue 2 of 14. What does that mean? Because there's no way it's three scenes out of 15 considering how much we've done here. What does it mean? We'll have to see. Let's see who question mark, question mark, question mark is then. I definitely knew this would happen. Oh, we had another one of those weird glitches between root changes. And there's the terrible skybox. Classic. 
That is, in fact, a new character design. Stop right there! EDF. Hand over Playing the case. Crossfell. Doesn't make sense for them to be in Crossfell. Who are you? You're not bandits, are you? Are you going to hurt me? Ah. Enough. What the fuck? Do as you're told. But that's fine. Check the contents. Who the fuck just fires a warning shot at a like little that's girl? It's just a stuffed animal. Did we get the wrong person? That's not just a stuffed animal, silly. It's one of the special It's actually going to be ones. fucking three and nine, isn't it? She has nine on her collar. What the? You set us up. All right. Well, there were definitely hints towards this. Uh, There's another one. She also has a nine in her hair. They're down to Interesting. three. Interesting. Let's get them down to none. Did not really what you would expect, frankly. Let's end this quick. Right. We're playing as children now. That's sudden. Shout oh, we have no BP. Delay minus 50%, that's okay. It's not the best ever. That's terrible, as always. Uh, ZP cut cost cutting orders are. Right, what do you have? Mark. Mark 100% for free turns. What the fuck is Mark? And Revelation marks 60% for three turns. Oh, it's like his ability in the book! That's that's actually really cool. It's gonna make them take extra damage when I hit it next. Three of swords. Mark 100% for three turns. And 4S, that's and B break. Damn. Really not what I expected here, though. Okay, do you have Analyze? No, we need to analyze a lot of characters here, so we're just gonna die to start with. Probably. How shall we play? Wait, oh, this is Oryx. That's where we are. Huh, okay. Right, you have Zeral Cannon and Decent Healing. Uh, Punitive Pierce. Impede and Nightmare Burn, 80%. It's magical, that's pretty good. Not the best AoE, though. Pet boost. Area that just restores HP and cures all status effects. What's your Nadia special? Well, that's definitely them. Randall ailment, 100%. Okay, not bad. Less damage and not as strong, probably, but it has its uses. Right, in that case... Uh... Okay, we can yeah. scan this one as well. Uh, we're going to die. There's no chance in hell we win this the first time if we need to analyze. Now, what items do we have to use here? Not the best, but it's enough, probably, later. For now, let's just see how this does. A very colorful attack. Appreciate it. Uh, well, in your case, I want to see how Mark works. Target locked. <laughs> Nicely animated marking, and it has like a cross shape. Oh, and it appears there like that too. Revelation, single target. But how much damage does it do? Time to settle this. Oh, that's what it looked like when it was combined. I thought it was more like throws <laughs> weapon. Does it mean it it's guarantees me. crits? And it fades afterwards. Huh. Okay, okay, this doesn't hit her, actually. That's not very good. Okay. Appreciate Well, she definitely has a style. It's going to be a hard fight, isn't it? Okay. Uh, you don't have an impede. Which is really unfortunate. Um... Shadow Chef. Okay. Uh, yeah, you don't have much you can do. What does yeah. this, this potentially impede if you have it on? No, is the answer. In which case, we're gonna steal the crit turn of him. Uh, she's dead. This isn't no gonna work choice. out, I suspect. Here goes. Also, 
that I really don't think it yet, but there are definitely repercussions to these guys actually being real. If they're real and this isn't like some weird... Okay, that's a lot of damage. Storybook simulation thing. I said I'd keep her safe. Well, that's that's a Bro, hard fight for sure. I don't want to do this. Right. I mean, in that case, I guess we just continue on. Target locked. Same idea as last time. It's me. You're going to have to holy breath consistently, aren't you? Appreciate like that's our only chance here. On it. Revelation. Uh, well, why don't we do this? And I can see how it works. No and we've already marked someone. It does just guarantee crits. It's good. I see. It's me. Keep the healing up. I think that's really the only way to fight this. Appreciate. They do too much damage otherwise. She's super fast at casting. They definitely predicted this, I guess. Mark these two, why not? Appreciate it. Free BP would be nice. Well, if we hit this one, we now have enough for Shadow Step. Uh, and you can uh, heal him again, because otherwise he will die. Yeah. Appreciate it. Oh. Right, we need to impede these two 100%. Got you. Got you. It is only for him, though, the crits. I see. Good to know. Um, might as well go for the crits here. Why not? Target. Uh, keep it up, honestly. You can sort of... Ah, it doesn't get reapplied afterwards. I see. Target. Okay, the PP with turn for her is actually huge, though. Impede these two. Uh, he's currently at full HP, so we're fine. Good miss for us. Okay. Uh, we're gonna do this again. We don't really need to do anything but use a mark here. Yeah, we'll do this. Target locked. It's me. And then we do it again. How shall Meaning we, we can now do this. We should kill both of them now with his turn. No need for that. Ready? Target locked. How shall we play? Appreciate it. Okay. I mean, I guess we activate this again to get the speed buff or something. Hey. I'm not sure. Target oh, he was already marked. Keep Shit, what a waste. How shall we play? This mark thing is cool, though. I do like the idea. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. That's not good. Uh, that's fine, actually. Uh, in which case, you want to mark again. Target. How shall we play? Uh, and heal again. Incredible what we can do when we have healing. He sort of needs to be hit one more time, unfortunately. Ready? Uh oh, many turns being wasted here. Fine. We'll have to not press in with this. If I can avoid using the ice break, I will. It's a terrible idea to use it unnecessarily. Okay. Just get to four if we can. Why you? That was certainly a fight. Quite an interesting one. All right. You hurt Nadia? Never with you. That's what makes us the most perfect team in the whole wide world. Jesus Christ, she's infatuated with this boy. <laughs> Vega, Altair, and Talisman. Cool. Right. So that was something. I. I'm a bit baffled. Cause You couldn't see, have been more right about how they moved on you. The guy in gold in Crossbell made me think of the guy in um, the book, and I did see the book in the backstory area of this game, and I was like, why is this here? Why is this here? Uh, so, and then this whole storybook sort of simulation feeling that the Babel thing has and then the whole Crossbell thing has. I don't know how to put it. 
There's just this weird air thing, so I was like, maybe. I wasn't expecting them to just become suddenly playable characters, though. I thought they might be like, well, they wouldn't be villains. I wasn't really sure what to expect. Anyway, moving on. Uh, I wouldn't have even noticed them if you didn't say something first. But that's what makes us the most perfect team in the whole wide world. I think this is actually a very well-chosen voice for this girl. Swin Abel. What a name. And Nadia Rain. Rain? Still, I feel like I've heard they that were name clearly well-trained. But maybe not. I thought we'd be in the clear once we reached the Empire. But guess not. So you went from Calvar to Arabodia. they were dumb enough to make it obvious what they were after. The case, yeah. What's in the case? What do you think's inside? <laughs> Are we doing a pulp fiction? I don't fiction? know, but whatever it is, it's a big deal. He was pretty adamant about keeping it secret. Who is he? Would have been easier to have the guild transport it if it was something normal. Okay, so there's a reason it's not the Brace Guild doing this. Also, the grass is poking through this. They really didn't just create a patch here where there was no grass? Yeah. And as long as it's in our hands, I don't want to let him down. Please don't play the pronoun game. Who's Me either. him? He's been real good to us. The problem is how we're going to deliver it with nothing but some cryptic riddle to tell us where to go. Are these... <laughs> this feels like Calvard set up, but it also doesn't, you know? But also, what? We'll figure it out eventually. No need to stress ourselves out over it. Can I hear the riddle? They don't tend yes. to actually be hard in this series. Well, we should get moving. We might have more of those guys hot on our tail. I also like how his belts are across and there's the three on the buckle. They all have to have some... They have to have some semblance of their number. Sure, but before we address the real problem on our hands... Which is sort of how I expect them to number um, enforcers. Uh, like, I was looking for 14, I think, in, not 14. Yeah, I saw a 14 in uh, McBurn's hair, and I thought that he would be that number, for example. I'm tired. I don't want to walk anymore. You want to fall asleep again? You can carry me, right? Pretty please. I am not doing that. You're always so mean to me. So very mean. <laughs> He's, he has to walk Stop himself, you Stop whining and walk. And give me the case. I'll carry it. And here was your chance to be a gentleman. Someone needs to step up their game around women. Whatever you say, does. Nadia. I don't quite recognize this uniform immediately. Is that C? I think it is. It's Swin's route, is what it is. Evening of Encounters. Is that, a, that looked like a gnome thing. Yeah, that is a gnome thing. Why was it spasming like that? Ulbrich? I mean, Ulbrich's dead. Oh, it's so Baylor. I guess it isn't dead with Ulbrich. What? I don't think it's an archaism. It sort of is. I got it. What is with this thing? I might as well be doing nothing. Looks like it's manufactured out of some special material, but that's all I got. This is very forward of it. And this roots. You sis? The core can't be damaged unless you first prioritize the joints. What? That sort of looks so like that's, that's how it works. That sort of is like Who's animation, right? Someone with suspicious written all over him. Is but that why I thought this sounded like Rufus? They have similar speaking patterns. What is happening? What excellent spirit! <laughs> I don't think all this right. is C. Criminals raid. And dark wait, it's his roots. It's not Swin's root, it's this guy. It's Crow, then. No, it's not. Crow doesn't use this sword. This is use What the fuck is this? What am I thinking here? 
Restores 20% EP. Okay, Dark Requiem has its use cases, but nah, not in my style. This is quite good, though. This is very Crow Criminals Raid. Let's put it that way. Um, Zoa Baylor, hi. What do we have on this character? Soul Eater. Impede and Heals. Blot Gang Raid. Summon swords and rains them down upon the enemy and Renegade Edge. Okay. Now, if this is balanced, it does le lend itself more to uses. And this is the Oryx 4 area, so I don't know! Anyway, you blind and delay 40. I mean, it's not delayable. Uh, so, you don't have any support stuff at all. Uh, we're gonna go with Shadow Step to start with then. Shadow Step! I'll take care of it. And you're gonna do this. Brave Seed from this. Pout Swin can mark his enemies. Yeah, okay. Anytime with a normal attack of craft, he has a chance of marking them. Okay. On it. Yep, that's about right. Target do this. It's me! So he's better in fights with multiple enemies. Uh, anyway. Zero Art, should we go for the heal? Or the fort, maybe? That's the force. On guard. Uh, in which case, you are going to go for a... He's magical, though. So maybe it wasn't the best choice, but who knows. Isn't that a, literally a... Isn't that literally a useless attack? Okay, thank you for telling me that odds are normal attack. On it. I don't need to see it. I've already figured it out. Revelation, let's go. Sixteen whole. Okay, Swin is going to be fucking fun. Let's put it that way. This fight could be very hard though, so I'm not having fun yet. <laughs> I'm, I'm quite worried actually. Appreciate. Let me see how it goes. Satanic claw. <laughs> Eh, it's really not very hard, it looks like. It looks like they balanced this down because they knew you were just in a new position. Uh, I should have used uh, Shadow Step. It also gets us uh, quite a few follow ups, guaranteed. This thing is going to take a while to die, though, because we can't fight with her. Really? Please? Let's see Renegade Edge. How about this? Isn't that... Renegade Edge! I don't think that is useless as actual animation for casting or similar. Park through. Shadow step. Do us Ready? some more of this. I mean, auto attack will do less damage than otherwise. That's the problem. So maybe we just build up with him a bit here. How much does he need for a revelation? 60? That's very hard to hit. But we'll do it anyway. Zeral Cannon. Bam. 10k? Nice. Um, is it Nightmareable? Or... No. Absolutely not. Pet Boost we'll use. How much does this do, actually? And it does heal minorly, so it's probably best to do that. 7k, yeah, it's a decent choice. Try an ad. Ow! Bastard. Okay, well, in your case, it's Revelation turn. How much damage is this going to do with the strength up and everything? 16k again, okay. Alright. Soul Eater. We could. Or we could Soul Blur. And, uh, you can do whatever you need. On it. We need to reactivate this early here. Uh-oh, I forgot to heal us. I'm stupid. No, not good, not good. Ready? Hold on. Uh, yeah, your lowest, uh, Nadia, so take a tear bar. It's a crit hey. turn for it. I guess we're using that turn. Actually, no, we're stealing that turn. Good, good. Uh, auto attack, I guess. Mark it. Buffing. Buffing it. <laughs> he says buffing. Uh, art support is strong. 11k, crit turn. Uh, I mean, he has strength up, so this is actually not a bad choice. Let's go for it. Mk, absolutely happy to do that. She's out of mana. 
Uh, so it's an EP charge for her. Actually, not while it's down. That's a terrible waste. Keep shadow stepping for us. Uh, and then uh, give it a mark. Target. Why not? I'm gone. We can't cast fast enough in this area, so my problem is this. So that doesn't generate anything Ready? because it uh, has the heal instead, I guess. Uh, in which case, you're marked, so it's, we could do Revelation. Or we could continue to wait. I guess we'll continue to wait. We don't want him healing. So a Baylor healing here would be bad. Uh, he can't really do anything fast enough, though. No, he can force. Okay, well, might as well force <gasps> in that case. Um, and we can now use the EP charge on that. <laughs> Appreciate it. Uh, anyway, uh, Zeril Cannon again. Oh, wait, he slept. That's not good. Appreciate it. Uh, and Soul Blur. Ready? Might as well keep up the Soul Blurring. Uh, actually, just break this. Otherwise, it will just disappear next turn. I'm gone. I think he just keeps uh, going with this and the Dark Requiem. Not Dark Requiem. Fuck. Okay. It's okay. We Mark just found this then. That's what these turns are going to be. So shall we play? It's nearly dead. <laughs> at least. We're getting there pretty fast. Okay. Uh. Oh, okay. Hold on. Can we get to this turn with him? No. Ah, uh, no. Yes. Perfect. All right. Well, not perfect. We don't get the mark as we would like, but on it. Go for a full powered one. No choice. Fifteen K is still decent. Uh, you can uh, instead do a Zeral cannon, I think. Yeah, Zeral cannon will do. Uh, yeah. We don't need to buff ourselves anymore. It's about dead. This is a oh very God. easy fight compared to the rest of the game. I'm very happy for this, frankly. <laughs> now, it would be embarrassing if he died because I wasn't paying attention. So, let's heal him. How do you navigate this? How about... <laughs> I think it doesn't do that much damage. I'm not sure he's actually Ready? meant to be a caster after all. It's a bit weird. Revelation, that's going to do huge damage. 10k isn't actually as huge because How he doesn't have the strength buff. Appreciate it. Dinak is a big bit of damage for us, but he's about dead, you know. I'll take care of it. Arcus, On activate. 12k, we have to do 12k. <laughs> oh, there's Arts, right. Targets, and Enemies, Weak Points, 100 times. Now, I want to use her S-Break, but I don't think we're done here, so it's a bit of a waste if we do. And there goes our Baylor. Pretty straightforward. You know, nice and relaxing after everything, and a Brave Seed is a decent reward either way. It wasn't looking for a new master or anything, it looks like it was just malfunctioning and now we destroyed it. Strange. Um, Did very it strange. run off? Yes, so? What the fuck was that? Thanks. What you said was dead on. No thanks necessary. However... <laughs> It doesn't sound like you, sis. I will be taking this. So you helped us out to nab the case? Correct. I suppose he did. I appreciate that your valiant efforts against your pursuers saved me a great deal of time. We're gonna need that back. And if you won't give it back, we'll take it back. This is great, dude. By all means. What what a storyline so far with these guys. It's been very Hold up, S. random and disconnected in a weird way that's making me feel very strange. This might be a stupid question, but bear with me. Could you tell us your name? It's C. I go by C. Yeah. I am the leader of the Reborn Imperial Liberation Front. It does actually sound like you... Ah! <laughs> Who is this? Is this a bit? <laughs> is this a uh, bit? It this feels is either like a, a bit. crazy coincidence, or fate just really likes messing with us. 
Have I said something unusual? That sounds like Rufus there. What are we dealing with? It's different attacks, so it might be Rufus after all. But then who's the Rufus we've seen? So, when we were given that case, we were told to deliver it to a person who introduces themselves as C. Well, that's convenient, isn't it? Who told you to, though? I'd like for you to elaborate on the details of this request of yours. It sounds so much like him. I've gotten so used to Valimar's version of Rufus's voice, you know, that I can detect his voice a lot easier than I think usual, but also I, I don't want to say for certainty that it's his voice when it could very well not be. And that's the long and short of it. Well, Ever since cool. last month, we've been trying to figure out just who C could be, and we've hit dead end after dead end. Who the fuck could have predicted they'd meet you the last month? Yeah. You are certain of this? And P. Huh. <laughs> what do you mean? Why are you laughing like this? What are we dealing with here? You doing okay? <laughs> Those mushrooms you eat on the way here start to kick in or something? <laughs> I mean, who knows? Oh, I'm quite well. I simply did not expect this affair to take such an amusing turn. Never did I expect to have this much fun. Well, if you're good, then... Is it okay with you if we open the case? Please do. Our work isn't considered it feels complete like a until we verified case. its contents have been safely received. Don't worry. That one's not rigged with a bomb. I think. You think? Then again, not like we've seen what's inside for ourselves. Yeah, maybe you're all about to die, can. but it's going to be a Rosenberg I'm dying doll. To open it's it. going to be a Rosenberg doll. Wanna it's a similar a shape to the fun? other boxes we've seen of them in. And, like, if... It has to be, sure. I have the faintest idea what's inside. You went through all the trouble of stealing it when you don't even know what it is? Someone's a wild card. True. I don't well, know its precise time, contents. Whatever they may be, however... They can certainly what? unrest How? the plague's crossbow in Erebonia. How would that be the case? It's in a fucking box for a month. And it... okay. And I firmly believe they will lead me to the root of its cause. Well... Go on then. Open it. Uh-huh. Oh, it's fully animated. You can tell... It's meant to be one of the better animated scenes. Will what lies within deliver us hope? Or will it deliver yet? <laughs> what the fuck is happening? Oh look, it's a girl, and it's gonna be a Rosenberg doll, but a girl. I mean it's Kia too, it looks like, right now. No, she has joints. It's a Rosenberg doll. <laughs> They're actually touching on this again. Who the fuck Who are? She looks like fucking the girl from Tales of Zillia. You? Who the fuck are you? What? Why'd it cut off like that? The opening! After that? Okay, Ren and Crow are with him. Eustace is actually with Reen. Oh, I'm actually so excited, honestly. Wait, that was Green of the Mask! Lloyd is the core focus of this game, it looks like. I'm fully believing it's Rufus we're playing as a C. What is this? What what is happening? Also, it's a 3D opening. It's animated. They're going to be fighting Reed? What the fuck was that? Huh? Tower of Babel, that's what that is. Oh! Enhanced Ebon Knight. Valmar 2, okay. Okay, 
okay. Dude, this is exciting as fuck. What the fuck? Arios versus Reen? Is that like a young version of Demi August, maybe? What is this? What are we play? What is this story? And that was the grandmaster in the in the art, and she's it's like a friend. She's we. What is this story? Is, is she Demi August, the grandmaster after all? Because that's like a friend of causality. She could be playing. What the fuck? Am I meant to think? <laughs> what am I meant to think with that? Also, I don't know if this has been long enough an episode, but. I think it has. So we're just going to end it there and, and see what happens next time. I That was a baffling opening. I actually really like that it's 3D. It was a bit quiet, but that's fine. The fact it's 3D, that was exciting. <laughs> that was a very different style. They went, okay, we'll fully animate it twice. Wait, that that's, uh, that's not good enough. We're going to 3D animate it now that we can 3D animate things. Very curious. What is this leading to? I just hope that whatever Reen gets with a fucking Valmar replacement doesn't last. Please. You know, or it's not unique. Don't. Don't. After you rebalanced everything, have a comeback for one game, sure. Bit weird to do it in the moment after Valmar died, but. But sure. And, uh, you know, don't have him beat Arios. That's all I'm asking. Please? Please don't do that, Tarios. Please, please, please don't do that, Tarios. Uh, but basically... Huh? <laughs> A lot of that looked very exciting. And it looks like, to me, I'm imagining it's Rufus versus Rufus. Some, like, two split sides of him or something. Or somebody that's taken his form but isn't him. Because Usus was in one of those shots there. Um, and we haven't seen... And that means he's probably not C. And we haven't seen what the fuck C could look like, I think, at any point. So I don't know what to think. All I know is that I'm excited. More Lloyd content. This third route looks cool. Reem could be fine. Uh, it's, it's quite the contrast, huh? Yay, Lloyd! This one looks interesting. Uh, uh, I mean, you know, uh, it, it's okay. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Anyway, quite exciting an opening. I'll see you next time.